Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question says the rate constant of decomposition of hydrocarbon is given at a given temperature. The energy of activation is also given in kilojoule per mole. Please note the units. We have to find the free exponential factor in the Arrhenius equation. Correct. The equation we know is K is equal to A e to the power minus Ea by Rt. T is given, R is something we know, E is given, A is something which you have to find, K is also given. Let's put the values. Right? So we have K is equal to A e to the power minus E A by R T. Put L on both sides. L and K is nothing but L and A minus E A by R T. If you want to put log. You can do that also. Log k is equal to log a minus e by 2.303 rt. We know that ln to log we have to take care of this 2.303 factor. We have to find a so let's put log a on the left hand side. It's nothing but log k plus e by 2.303 rt let's put the values here log of k k is given in per second 2.418 into 10 to the power minus 5 plus ea ea is given what 179.9 kilojoule so you have to convert into joule first right so that becomes 179.9 into 10 to the power 3 joule per mole this becomes 179 plus 9 written to the power 3 joule per mole. Please note this has to be in joule per mole. Divide by 2.303. R is 8.314. And T is my temperature in Kelvin. That is 547. Right. This is in per second. And this also if you see. It will come out to be in per second. You can actually solve it. Right? because this is in Kelvin this is Joules per mole per Kelvin it will get cancelled Joules per mole Joules per mole cancelled so if you solve this log A log A is nothing but 12.5917 and a is nothing but anti log of this and it's nothing but 3.9 into 10 to the power 12 per second and that is math just mathematics nothing great here the question says decomposition of hyd hydrocarbon follows this equation you need to find the value of ea See, K is nothing but A e to the power minus E A by R T. If you compare these two equations, E to the power coefficient, we can compare. So that is E A by R T or minus E A by R T, nothing but minus 2 A double 0 K by T. In this K is Kelvin, T is in temperature. We have to find E. Correct. So T T gets cancelled. Minus minus gets cancelled. Let's put the value of R. E is nothing but 2800 into R. Right? R is what? 8.314 Joule per Kelvin per mole. And there is a K already there. K K cancel. You solve this, you get 232792 joule per mole and that is nothing but 232.792 kilojoule per mole and that is correct unit of activation energy pretty easy just this formula this looks similar to our formula Arrhenius equation compare the formula and found the activation
the rate constant for the first order decomposition of H2O2 is given by the following equation. We have to find Ea for this reaction and at what temperature where its half period will be 256 minutes. Two things we have to find here. First thing we have to find the Ea activation energy and the second thing we have to find we are given the half period T half and we need to find at what temperature it will become. From T half we can easily find K, correct 0.693 by K is T half. So that means we have the value of K and we have to tell at what temperature that will be the value of K. And we know that the K value is changing with respect to temperature and for that we have the RNS equation. So we can easily find the values, correct. First let's find the Ea. So the equation we have is log K is 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 K by T. The equation we know is k is equal to a e to the power minus k by rt. It is all log, right? So if we put log in this equation, the equation we get is log k is equal to log a minus a by 2.303 rt. The equation they gave us is this equation. Let's put the value log k is equal to 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 k by t. So we compare these two equations log a is this and this part is same. Right? This part is equal to this part. We compare these two. So from this I can say that e by 2.303 rt is equal to 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 k by t, t, t cancel. So E A is nothing but 2.303 into R that is 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin into 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 k. Right? This gets cancelled. So when you solve this, you get 239339.3 unit is joule per mole. Or you can get is 239.34 kilojoule per mole. So that is my activation energy that I have formed. The next question is at what temperature the T half will be 256 minutes. So till now we have found Ea, right? So we have to find temperature at which T half is this. So temperature at which T half is 256 minutes, I can easily find the K. K is nothing but 0.693 by T half. And that is nothing but 0.693 by 256 minutes. I can make it in seconds. This is 4.51 into 10 to the power minus 5 per second. This is the K. And I have to find I know the K, I have to find T. Correct? I know the K, I have to find T. I can easily find. Let's put the value in this equation. This equation log K is equal to 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 K by T. Just put the values here. So log k is what? Log of 4 point this value 5 1 into 10 to the power minus 5 per second. 1.34 minus 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 k by t. t is something you have to find. Right? So if you solve this actually, T will come out to be 669K. I'll not solve this for you, you can solve this on your own. Because here, this you can find a value log of this. This is a constant again. Subtract this, you get the value of T to be 669K. One thing to note here is, when you are finding K, you find it in seconds. Because in this equation, we use all the value of R, that is moles, 
uh, per liter per second, right? So the second second it cancels, so it has to be in seconds. These equations we use all SI units, nothing in minutes, nothing in hours. So k has to be in seconds. If you find in minutes, you'll be in trouble. It has to be in seconds. Correct. Uh, the decomposition of A into product has K given at 10 degrees Celsius. Energy of activation is given. What would the temperature be if K is a new K? See, the formula we know is K is equal to A e to the power minus E A by R T. That is the formula we know. Correct. Let's put both log both sides. We get log k is equal to log a minus e by 2.303 rt why 2.303 because if you use ln there won't be any 2.303 but we are using log we get this equation so we have k for two different terms this is k1 and this is k2 right temperature is given t1 t2 is something we have to find so let's put the value for case one Case one, right? Log k one equal to log a minus e a by two point three zero three into r into t one. Case two, log of k two is nothing but log a minus e a by 2.303 r t2 equation 1 equation 2 subtract these two equations that log a will get cancelled subtract these two equations you get log of k1 minus log of k2 is equal to e a by 2.303 r this becomes 1 by t2 minus 1 by t1. This is what you will get. Now if you see in this formula, we have everything. We know k1, yes. We know k2, yes. We know activation energy, yes. It is in kilojoule per mole, we have to convert it to joules per mole. We know r, we know 8.314. We know t2, we have to find. T1, we know 10 degrees Celsius, that is something but 10 plus 273, that is 283 Kelvin. Right? This is 6, this is joules per mole. So we know everything, we know only one, we don't know only one value. You put everything in this equation, now you can actually put it, right? This log k1 minus log k2, you can now also write log k1 by k2. That you can do it actually. So you just put all the values in this equation because we have all the values in this equation except one value that is my temperature T2. And when you put all the values, you get T2 as 297 Kelvin. And that is my answer. If you want in Celsius, you can make it 24 degrees Celsius. Right? So this equation has all the parameters we know except. T2. Right? T2 is something which you don't know. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.